the macroplastics bin came out and uh, we bought about 2,000 to try them out and they were an immediate hit and uh, now we've uh, got our inventory up to about 175,000 total plastic bins. I'm Steve Freeman. I'm the Vice President of Field Operations for Pacific Coast Producers. We're a grower-owned cooperative that processes apricots, peaches, pears, grapes, and tomatoes into private label store brands. I think our first purchase of macroplastic bins were in 1992 and was the first 2,000 bin purchase. And then after that we bought uh, about 10,000 bins a year for about five years and got up to a volume that we're at now and just this last year I bought another 55,000 used bins from a processor that went out of business. The consistency of wood bin pricing at that time was very dependent on whether there was a natural disaster, spotted owl issue, or any other environmental issues that affected the wood bin price. Everything that we do is on a gross pound basis. So we pay our truckers, pay our cold storages, everything is on the gross pound. This bin weighs approximately 40 to 45 pounds less than a wood bin. And when you take in consideration on that, uh, the, less, the less tear weight on this bin, there's a lot of savings that uh, adds up on an annualized basis. And now we've been at this kind of level here for about the last uh, 10, 12 years and we've saved quite a bit of money on the macroplastic bins just by the tear weight. I was telling uh, somebody the other day that a lot of our loads going from the grower locations out to the cannery, to the processing facilities, is we're hauling them at about 50 bins per load compared to 46 or 44 that we used to haul with wood bins just because of the tear weight difference.